you have to imagine. But right in this spot. The past becomes present for Dr. Edwin Johnson, standing where Frederick Douglass once spoke in 1874. To think of, of what he went through to get to the spot, to know that greatness isn't easy, but it, it is possible. There is hope, you know? This is the main sanctuary of the historic Mount Moriah AME Church in Annapolis and home since 1984 to the Banneker Douglas Museum. One of the things that I like about um, historic buildings, um, you know, as I was saying earlier, you can actually kind of sit in those spaces and, and try to imagine what it was like a um, hundred, a hundred and fifty years ago. Renovations are now nearly complete in the sanctuary, now known as Verda Welcome Hall for the late Baltimore Senator, who was the first African American woman elected to Maryland State Senate. It was here that Frederick Douglass addressed a crowd for the dedication of the church 148 years ago. When you walk into that space and it, it just takes me back and I just try to imagine um, what he was thinking and if you can consider the, the time and, and what was happening um, in 1874 um, for people of color and, and even whites, because again, this, this million dollar question is, what, what does freedom mean? Johnson is the vice chair of the Maryland Commission on African American History and Culture, the first commission of its kind in the country. Too often times, you know, when there's a telling of American history, when there's a telling of state, when there's a telling of Annapolis history, too often the African American experience is, is omitted. And to a larger extent, folks don't know it to share it. So it's not even an intentional, you don't matter, it's we just didn't know the story. Um, so a good part of the work that we do is to make sure that there's no excuse for not knowing the story. A dozen years ago, the commission partnered with the Maryland Historical Trust, which provided an annual million dollar grant to fund projects like the renovations at the museum to preserve African-American historic sites throughout the state. And next year, um, there's an appropriation that will allow that $1 million grant to increase by $4 million. So there'll be $5 million annually. Money, which Johnson says, will help the commission do what he calls the most important part of their job. As we enter this, this space and time where, where people are questioning everything, there's actually physical evidence that you can walk to, that you can touch, you can walk around and look and you can imagine um, what it was like to sit in this space, to walk in this space, um, to work in this field, to sleep in this um, facility or, or um, shelter 200, 250 years ago. The more we know about one another, the better it is for everyone. In Annapolis, I'm Sue Copen.